Hey everyone, um, I cut some pieces out on the Imagine and I just kind of want to show you what I have to start with here for my card. I printed this pretty pattern paper out on the Imagine. Um, it's from Best Friends. It's a striped pattern paper. And I thought it, it reminded me of fall and I kind of wanted to make a fall card for you today. And um, I have some other matching papers that will go with it. I cut out some papers with my um, nestable dies in my cuddle bug to use. And I also used this little pumpkin from the new Sophie cart. My Imagine didn't cut it out and I'm not sure if it's because um, it's a new cart and I haven't updated my Imagine since it came out. I thought I had, but maybe I hadn't. Um, or because the cuts are pretty intricate and sometimes I've noticed that my Imagine won't cut. But well, that's okay because I took my um, micro tip scissors and cut it out and I stamped Happy Fall y'all with this cute little um, set of stamps I got from my craft spot. There's a lot of um, cute little Happy Harvest and Fall type sayings on it. And so I stamped that right on the little pumpkin. And then I inked the edge, edges with my um, Tim Holtz Distress Inks. Um, and I happened to use Walnut Stain. And I'm going to do that to each piece and then put this card together. And I also have this little leaf and it's gold now. It used to be silver. You can kind of see on the back it's still a little silver. Um, but I used my um, Rub and Buff Grecian Gold to change it to a gold color because I thought it looked more fall-like and, and matched the, the tones in these papers a little bit better than the silver. Um, I'm also going to put in some of this um, pretty brown crinkle ribbon and maybe use some twine here to, for the leaf. And so I might show you how, to, um, how I like to ink edges of paper, but I'm going to recruit some help for that. Okay, so I wanted to show you quickly how I um, label my distress, distress inks in these little daubers that go with them, or little pads that go with this um, little, I don't know what this is, anyhow, that you attach to this and pick up ink. I number the back of them with a number, and I also label my ink with a number. That way I can always use the same one. And I wanted to quickly show you how I like to ink edges. A lot of people say that they have problems with this. And I've found that the best way is to collect some ink on the um, dauber and then to kind of just brush the edges um, slightly. Just like this. And I'm going to do this all the way around. You don't want to rub on top. Sometimes you get really big brush strokes that don't look so good. Now if you want a little bit more inking, you can kind of do that. Um, but I think a nice inked edge that's fairly simple looks really good on most cards. So I'm going to ink each of these pieces and then I'll put my card together and you can see the finished product. Thank you. Okay everyone, I'm back and I have my finished card now and I just kind of wanted to show you what it looked like all put together. I decided to change the color of ribbon. I had a brown laid out but I like this maroon better. Um, so I'm going to use, I use that instead. And I cut the little loop off the leaf charm here. Um, so that I could glue it right into the middle of the ribbon. I popped the pumpkin off and I also took a stamp that I had um, that had some fall leaves and pretty um, fall scrolling on it and stamped this brown piece just to give it a little bit more texture um, without changing the color at all. And then here's my little pumpkin that I cu cut out from the Sophie cart and this trim that's on here is also from Best Friends. It's on the um, same cartridge that this paper is from. And now that I have it all put together, um, you can see it's, it's an um, A2 size card. A2 is a five and a half by four and a quarter if you're interested. And then I also completed the inside of my card using the Imagine paper and a piece of just cream card stock. And I also inked the edges of all of that. So there's my simple little fall card um, that's pretty easy to make with the Imagine. Have a good day. Thanks for stopping by.